We are pink today. <laughs> oh, I redid my hair and I cut this pink dye with almost an entire bottle of conditioner and I only used like half of the pink dye <laughs> and we still got something pretty bold. So um, anyway, today I'm really excited because I'm gonna be using this new foundation. I've only tried it one other time off camera and it looked so good. You guys know I'm on like a foundation journey. That's what I'm dubbing it for 2023. And these are new from Essence. It's the Keep Me Covered Long Lasting Foundation. It's transfer proof, waterproof. This is something I wouldn't have picked up. First off, I am pretty I just haven't really bought like a drugstore foundation in a really long time. It's hard to pick out the colors. I feel like shade ranges is sometimes a problem. But not only that, also just undertone at the drugstore is tough. It's very tough. But these were sent to me and so that's really the reason I tried them. But these retail for $7, okay? $7 and I decided to try them out. I mixed two colors and it looked so good. So I'm gonna be trying it again with you guys, showing you how it looked. I'm also wanting to do something really fresh. Like I'm gonna be using this cream blush. I used this the other day. It looked so good. I really loved it. And then for eyes, I'm also doing something colorful. I'm going to be reaching into this ColourPop palette. I also saved these off to the side in my declutter because you can remove these pants. So I need to do some switching around, but I'm looking at doing something like half and half. I kind of want to do like a half whatever and half on the other side color, something a little bit brighter, but still light. And uh, we got some crystals going on. So I am just feeling it today. Okay. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. But first I I'm gonna get a primer on my face. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Putty Primer. I don't know how this is gonna do for redness, so if it's not very good, I do have the NYX one I just bought to also try, because one of you guys said that this actually doesn't do that much for redness, but we will see how it works for me. I'm just digging in a little with my finger and applying it on. I used, when I put the foundation on before, my Valentino, which I thought was just so funny, you know, like this expensive Valentino primer and then using like a $7 foundation. But also I kind of love that, like, a, you know, I kind of love that. It's like what works, works, you know? It's about the final outcome. It's about what you look like, not necessarily if it all is expensive or all is inexpensive. I'm only doing half my face so we can really see if it works. It's in my eyelashes, <laughs> my gosh, I'm a, animal. I think there's a slight difference, a slight blurring, a slight decrease in redness, maybe not the most. I'm going to put it on the other side though, just so that we have even results. Otherwise, how do you get this out? I feel like this feels freaky. This is <laughs> a little too much for me. Um, do I, I don't have nails really, maybe. Oh, once you kind of, you just got to be rough. I think maybe it didn't come with a little spatula or something. We need to put the hair back. I normally don't wear it down, but when it's down like this, it just gets in the way. Okay, primer on. I do think it took down some redness. It's not doing miracles, but it is doing like a slight job of just kind of evening things out and making less work, I feel like, for my foundations. That being said, I'm still gonna go in with this. Just, I have these like little tiny areas on my cheeks that are specifically redder than the rest of my face. I don't know what that is. I probably could go to a dermatologist and they would tell me it's probably just like rosacea something. Or I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm going to use the NYX uh, concealer though to just try and pat out right in those more intense red areas and see how that does for me. Wow. Wow. Color theory in action. I think that worked really well. Definitely neutralized. Almost looks a little bit um, gray in that area, which I mean, it really doesn't actually look that gray, but it's just neutralized. I'm so used to seeing redness. And that one definitely has a lot more of that green. You can see where it is and where it isn't. It's a lot of green pigment. I definitely don't think this one for me is one I would wear without something over it, but it doesn't look green necessarily on my skin. You can just kind of see where it's at. I hope that will help though. It's definitely something I think is gonna unlock some new potential with different products. So I'm excited to keep trying these out. All right, I wanna go into this. I realized though that I did use the Valentino and that adds like a layer of dew. You know what I mean? Like it adds a, a nice shine. And so I kind of do wanna use this, but maybe I will do, but this adds so much coverage, the e.l.f. one. This adds no coverage. It's just a really beautiful shine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pump some on the back of my hand. And instead of like blending it out with my hands like I normally do, I'm actually gonna take it on my beauty blender or just sponge. This is one of my favorites from Dose of Colors. And I'm just going to add it this way and hope I don't disturb the green I've put down. That's my 
my plan of why I'm doing it this way. But I do want to add some of the glow because that is something I really liked about the foundation last time. But like I said, I'll be testing out stuff so much. So they sent me three shades and I actually went with two and mixed them. I liked 40 Alabaster, but it is just too light on its own. So there it is. And this is such an interesting foundation. It was so much more liquidy than I thought it was gonna be. That was something that I would, you know, I think I had in my head it was gonna be this like thick, goopy paste that's gonna just like, you know, look like a mask and be not good. But the thinness of this, I still had some coverage, but it really like laid nicely on my skin. The other color I mix it with is Shell. I'll put it like next to it. So this one's just a little bit too deep, but I felt like these are more neutral, whereas this one is the other shade, the Ivory. I don't know, it had more of like an oranginess to it. The Ivory one is up here at the top and I just I didn't like the undertone necessarily that kind of peachy and so yesterday I did two pumps I think to one and these are small pumps they're definitely not like big old pumps but very nice and thin of a texture of like consistency and I actually really liked that so I'm just blending it out with my beauty blender and I think something that was so nice about this is you know I've been trying to make it by Mario that's like my first foundation of the year that I tried and you know I don't hate that foundation but it's not like a love I got issues with it you know what I mean and so trying this I was like oh is this what it's supposed to be like like am I supposed to like it this much from the beginning you know and then like I said I probably was being a little biased toward it and so I wasn't expecting to like it, like at all, let alone like genuinely think it looks good, <laughs> you know? So kind of shocking, kind of shocking. You can definitely still see that red coming through on my cheeks. I don't know if it just got moved or something about once I blend stuff on, I don't know. That's just always there though. This is maybe a little bit more than I need. I feel like probably two pumps is my ideal, but if I want more coverage, this is definitely gonna give me it. I get something kind of medium. That's always what I'm going for. I don't want my skin to not look like skin, but it is nice to cover some of that redness, you know? And this, what I liked about it is it's just so easy on my skin. Like it doesn't feel heavy at all. It kind of dries down and it doesn't feel like a moisturizer sitting on my skin. Some, you know, products feel like that. And those can look really nice, add some dew, or look really skin-like, but they end up throughout the day maybe feeling a little heavy or kind of letting my oils poke through. And I felt like for this one, I wore like a really long time, like a whole day. And I think I did, I don't even know if I powdered. I don't think I did. I'm gonna try not powdering today and see how it goes. Cause that's my ideal. I would love to really not have to powder and for like just, you know, a nice amount of sheen to come through with my oils throughout the day. So I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see what this looks like this is the foundation over those two primers and also the green color corrector <laughs> kind of a lot of stuff you know you can see it but I feel like I've been having some issues with my pores and although my pores are there they're never gonna just like disappear hello they exist on my face but I really like that it's not overly textured and I think that has to do with the finish this isn't a super dewy finish it has like a nice matte but not like chalky it's not a chalky matte finish and i think it looks pretty damn good like i'm very happy with it i also feel like again you know once it kind of lives in your skin a little bit like even just 20 minutes you know kind of warms up settles in feels itself out on your face i really liked how that was looking so I am gonna leave it there with the foundation, but I am gonna add some concealer. This is also from that same range, and this one is in the shade. This is not the one I was using. What one did I use before? Okay, I was using 20 Fair. I'm also gonna add some of that as my concealer. And again, this is what I did the other day, and I thought it looked so good. Like, absolutely shocked by how good I liked it. And you know, I've been using the ColourPop pretty fresh concealer i think it is it's like the more dewy one and i don't know what it is you guys i've tried it multiple times and like by the time i'm done with my makeup is when i really realize it but my under eyes look like they just look not accurate you know what i'm saying like they look kind of grayed out the product sits so weird that it looks kind of like crepey in a weird way. And this is how I know it's true. I <laughs> I went up to Sam and I was like, um, what do you think about my under eye? Like, do you think it looks good? And Sam is so good, you know, like he's, he's like, do whatever you want, you look great. Like, you know, he's down with everything. And even he was like, you know, he's not gonna be like, it looks bad, he loves me, whatever, and he doesn't care, but he was like, it's looked better. <laughs> 
<laughs> there's better stuff out there, you know? So that was not good. So that was really not good. Um, definitely not the concealer for me. Unfortunately, because it's so inexpensive, I want to like it more. Anyway, let's move on to bronzer. I'm just going to use the e.l.f. one. I've been using either this one or the Luminous e.l.f. one, whichever one. You know, I like the e.l.f. putty bronzer in basically all the forms. I would say I tend to stick away from the cool one, though. I thought I was going to like that. You guys know. I do like a little warmth. I think especially when my face looks like, you know, it's looking a little light to me anyway right now. I do like how a bronzer can like warm that up and make me not feel so dead, <laughs> you know? Breathe some life back into this face. And it blends over the foundation, I feel like, pretty dang nice as well. Like, I'm not having issues with that. I really like that it doesn't seem to really, like, accentuate any dry areas on my face, which is nice. I don't know, man. It just gives me hope. I'm like, holy crap. Like, maybe the makeup by Mario really didn't work for me. But I I didn't know what, what better was, maybe. So I was just giving it too many chances. I don't know. I mean, I can see how it'd work for other people. I just think with my specific concerns, you know? Because I just have so many issues with freaking my pores and texture. Like, I don't feel like I have overly textured skin necessarily. But, you know, it's just a little bit older and not the smoothest. And also, I have issues just how things actually apply in my skin. Like, I've mentioned that before. But... Anyway, okay, looking pretty good. Very happy with this. For blush, I am so excited to use this Moira one. This is in the shade I Adore You, and you guys know I love these cream blushes, but this color specifically, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. It's so fresh and like lively. It's probably more of like a spring summer moment, but I really liked the way that it looked the other day. So I kind of wanted to bring that into this look. And I know it feels like a lot right now, but I promise once it's all blended on and everything's blended out, it just really works. And I feel like adds such a nice youthfulness and just like happiness to the makeup look. I really like it. It almost looks kind of pink. You don't expect it to be as, you know, pink as it is for the corally color coming off, but I absolutely love it. And if you find that you always apply too much blush, I do suggest using a brush, but also tapping that brush off on the back of your hand before you go in so you really have control over the product. I think that could help you if you're, you know, having issues with that. Because I know bright colors, depending on your skin tone, can feel a little bit intimidating. So that's something I do to help. For highlighter, the other day when I did this look, I used Felicity from ColourPop and it is just almost all sparkle. Like it doesn't really have a base on it at all. So it gives you a really wet shine look. It's kind of this golden to pink shift really pretty, very sparkly. And I do like that look, like it looked good, but I don't think I'm gonna go <laughs> quite for that one today. I kind of wanna use Seismic. It's kind of this in-between where it has the shimmer and like that sparkle, but it also has a little more base on it. It's not just as, as glittery. I also have Flexitarian. That one's a little bit, I think, too icy maybe maybe not though and then i think the most subtle out of all of them is lunch money that's like too subtle i'm gonna go with flexitarian i haven't used that one in a while i initially thought that this broke me out but i'm not i'm not sure if it does anymore or like what that was about so i'm just tapping this on i feel like that's my favorite way to apply it and to make sure i can kind of have the most control again over the product and how it kind of wears but i can already tell i do want a little more like actual shine so I'll probably go in with Seismic as well. If you need a cream highlighter, I do think the ColourPop ones are really good. The Super Shocks are just great, except for the Bronzer Super Shock. I don't like that one. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of Seismic, just more on the outer and like tops of the cheekbones, kind of coming out from the eye. But I'm still trying to blend it out because I don't want it too stark, but I already feel like I maybe brought it a little too far in, but it's okay. Ooh, I think it looks so good. I feel like, yeah, just really fresh, put together. I feel like the skin looks so nice too. All right, for brows, I was gonna do drugstore and the brows I did the other day were a little bit lighter, but I kind of want a little bit more. So I'm just using my Persona. I also feel like with the color of my hair, I need something just a little bit darker. Okay, I feel good, I think, about the brows. I don't know, I never know. I never know. For primer, I'm using the Alter Ego. I've just been going back to 
a pretty like thin primer lately. I still love my cream shadows, but sometimes it's just easier. Okay, I'm actually really excited to do the eye look. I want to do, like I said, like two colors, like an inner corner or like inner lid color, outer corner color. So I need two colors that are going to blend nicely. I don't know if I want to do something like blue and green, purple and green, pink and purple, pink and green, pink and blue, orange and pink. That might be cute. Or even orange and green. That sounds kind of cute too. The options feel endless. I think I'm going to go green and purple. I think that sounds fun to me. So I'm going to take this light green first. It's kind of a matte. It's very chartreuse, a lot of yellow in this green. It also has some sparkle, but I'm just taking it as it is. And I'm really going pretty sloppy with it just in this front portion of my eye and then just blending out. I feel like I've definitely been just having fun trying different looks. Like I really liked that smoky winged liner. I still want to do something with the tape method and I'm excited to do something colorful. And I realized I really don't do, like if I'm gonna do color, I tend to stick to like one color and then neutrals lately. I was looking at some past looks and realized like, oh yeah, you can do more than like one color. Like what are you doing? All right, there's the green on the inside. I'm a little nervous that the, uh, Purple is gonna look a little like ashy or like turn to neutral because it looks almost like a yellow. So I might add some of this blue as a middle. I know I was only gonna do the two, but I just think I'll be happy with that choice. So I'm taking that like light blue and just kind of putting it in the middle of my eye just to soften everything, build up something for the purple to build off of. I also feel like this would look really good with the uh, sugar pill palettes. I'm gonna go back into the green and just pop that still. And then I'm taking a lavender purple for that outer corner. And I'm really gonna pack it on. I could also add something deeper and maybe I will, but I'm really like blending it on top of the blue because that's really just there as like a buffer. I also think that this would look good with the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette. Like that collection also has a lot of these kind of colors. That green is just so vibrant. I'm just gonna tap my finger into like corresponding colors. I'm mostly gonna stick to the green shimmer and then the purple shimmer. And I'm just laying those on the lid. I just don't want it to be all matte. Even though it does look good, I just love shimmer. It would even look good to use like a, a more translucent type color that would look good on all of them and just use that across the lid. That would be something really pretty too. Okay, I kind of love it. I'm gonna use a little bit of this Rose Glow Eyeliner from Pixie. It's one of my favorites. Just for a little definition, I don't really want to bring color onto the lower lash line. I'm also gonna use this to tight line a little if I can open it. Okay, I'm gonna also add it to the top of my eyelid because I kind of hooked it up. I'm not sure about that step. Oh no, I'm going in. I just need a little bit of a highlighter for my brow bone and inner corner. So I'm just using the Charlotte Tilbury because it's what I have right here. Okay, definitely not a strong shimmer on the lid, but I kind of like it. Like, because it's so bold, I kind of like that it doesn't have like also the most duochrome flip, but that's definitely an area you could like add some more oomph to. But we're gonna add the, I forgot the crystals. Before we do that though, I'm just gonna use some telescopic. I've never used this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is just in the shade black. I hope I don't hate it. <laughs> I hope it doesn't ruin this whole look. It might. This wand feels fragile. It feels like it could snap at any moment. I feel like I can't get like any leverage on moving my lashes around. Like it would just give way to any pressure. I don't know if I like this. <laughs> I don't know if I like this. Not 
not sure if I love that. I'm gonna add a little more blush though. I feel like the look can handle it. And even though this is bright, the eyes are bright, I feel like it all goes. Like nothing feels like too much. It doesn't feel like to me in any way like clownish. And I really feel like the uh, mascara grounds it a lot because it adds a lot of, you know, depth that isn't there necessarily in the shadow. And that's kind of neutral on its own. But let's add just a few little rhinestones. These ones are from Half Magic Beauty. They have like a multi-color thing going on. They have this little thing I bought with them. I think I'm gonna do like a cluster of three or so, like in the upper brow area, I think. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, how fun. Every time I do this, I'm always like, it's not that big of a deal. Why don't I do it more? Okay, I could probably work on getting them a little more even, but I'm not mad at it. Let me do my lips. I'm gonna use this one from Essence. This is the shade, mm, I'm not sure, Costnova maybe? I don't know where the name is and I don't know if that's actually the name or not. I'm just gonna line a little. I want the rest of the eye look to really be the thing that pops. And then last, I'm trying out this stuff from McQueen. This is all on Yes Style and it's just a lip oil clear, very glossy. Very, very glossy. I'm trying a bunch of other stuff out, so a video will be coming soon. I don't know how well that layers over the, the lip liner. I don't know if it's just that the lip liner is a little light, you know, maybe I need something a little darker, but let me show you the eye look. Here we are with the eyes. What a fun little time. Seriously, I haven't done something fun like this in a while. I like the little rhinestones kind of a, a little moment, but I like just using like multiple colors, kind of just like water painting with them on my own eyes. Like that's just so fun and I'm glad I did it. It's super cute. Okay, let's get these down. All right, guys, well, here is the look. I hope you enjoyed. I am excited to continue testing the Essence Foundation. I will let you know what I think. I definitely wanna keep giving it some test wears, but I think it's really the fact that I didn't like hate. I really thought I would not like it straight off the bat. I thought it would be like, oh, immediate mistake, but I'm actually quite liking it. I feel like my skin looks smoother than I'm used to, but it's also probably just cause it's not as dewy. Like this isn't a dewy look. I'm adding, like everything's artificial at the moment for any type of shine going on my face. So I will keep you updated with that. I'd love to know any recommendations for drugstore mascaras, any other foundations from the drugstore you really like, because I'd love to try out the foundation. Of course, like this is the year, like I said, of just trying different things, you know, finding some new favorites at different price points from different brands, but also with the mascara, I'm not sure. Again, I'm going to keep trying it. I'm not sure if Telescopic's the one for me, but if you have some cult classic drugstore favorite mascaras, let me know down below. I feel like it's been a minute since I've been in the drugstore mascara game, you know what I mean? <laughs> like I just keep getting little samples here and there, um, but I still feel like my favorite mascara that I've tried in the last little bit is the Make Waves one from Tower 28. Just solid, man. It doesn't smudge. It goes on really great. Like it's just a nice freaking mascara. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you have a great day. I hope this inspires you to do something maybe a little bit different that you've maybe seen on someone else or something you used to do. Get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Try something fun fun, add some little sparkles, some rhinestone, whatever. It's really fun. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.